look, I think in terms of uh, that change after the second game, look, uh, Matthews was always going to play uh, the first game, but unfortunately because of certain issues uh, in Chennai, he couldn't play. Uh, so that change was always going to happen, irrespective of of Albi's performance. Uh, yeah, look, I think you'd admit first up that uh, you would like to have pr- uh, produced better performances with the ball, but you know, that's the game of T20 cricket. It's not always going to go your way. He's been outstanding with the bat so far. He's finished well for us. Uh, so yes, we've got a few things to, to tighten up from a bowling perspective. It's not only him. I mean, all of us can can tighten up a bit in terms of our bowling bowling skills. We know that our uh, bowling performance was not up to up to standard in the previous game, and we we want to set that right going forward in this in this next game against Mumbai. So we're definitely looking forward to it, and, and I'm sure he's he's up for the challenge as well. Look, I don't think the grass plays a major factor here in Delhi. Uh, I think it's just there to sort of hold the wicket together. So I don't. I don't think we'll play an extra seamer because of that. But as you said, our match winners have been our, our two leg spinners, uh, plus Kultanal up front. So we have to produce performances around them as well. We can't just depend on them. Uh, so all of us, had, including myself, needs to stand up and produce some performances with the ball as well. Uh, look, we know that previous performance wasn't great, uh, but it's only one game and we'll take a lot of lessons out of out of the previous game and we want to set them right especially in the bowling department uh, tomorrow i'm not sure on his fitness uh, status at the moment he's, what i do know is he's, he's coming on nicely and you know each day is improving uh, whether he's fit to play it i'm not sure we'll have to see what the medical uh, staff say uh, but he's going to be a key asset for us going forward as you know there's loads of experience and he's been really good in terms of sharing his knowledge with uh, with the bowlers so he's a key component to our side i'm actually very positive in what we've produced to be honest we've lot we've won two out of five yes but you know we're standing at fourth position at the moment and to me that's not a bad position to be at this stage of the tournament yes there's still nine games to go so we'd like to win predominantly most of them and give ourselves a chance to get into that playoffs uh, but it's not difficult for me to vo- motivate myself and the team because you know, we've created a good team culture, led by the management, led by Gary. Uh, so, you know, guys are, are motivated to play for Delhi and want to do well for Delhi, especially on our home ground. So, we'll definitely see a, a different change uh, come tomorrow. Yeah, what, what has been good for us at, the, at our home venue is actually the support we've got. Uh, you know, even though we haven't produced results here, the support has still been there for us and that's very encouraging. Uh, you know, in terms of our, our skills, our batting and bowling, uh, I'm not too worried about what has happened in the batting department because I think it's been really good. Uh, four out of five games, we've been really good with the bat. Uh, from a bowling perspective, we know there are areas we can improve, yes. I think from a, just in specific, what we need to do, I think if you look at the last game, we just never put the ball in, in, in good areas for a consist, consistent period of time. And, you know, as a bowling group, we have, we've admitted to that. Uh, so it's just about understanding that to give ourselves a, the best chance of getting wickets, we need to be consistent and understand what are good lengths and lines, uh, especially on this wicket, which is a little bit different to, to other venues. So it's just about assessing those conditions well and early from a bowling perspective and I've no doubt we'll do that tomorrow.